What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a top 5 white bass fishing lures. So, for number 5, I have a deep diving crankbait. This is a Carl's Amazing Baits um, Black and Sard Truce deep diving crankbait. It goes about 6 to 8 feet deep. And then I also have a Flicker Shad Berkeley. This one goes about five feet deep and it has a foil on it. So it's shinier and it's also jointed. And then we also have a Guggen Squad Recon. Um, it'd probably work better if you had a mini recon because this one's kind of big, but the mini recon is a bit smaller and the white bass can fit in their mouth easier. Now for number four, we have swim baits so i got just a kitek swim bait right here with a jig head a live target swim bait a little walleye baby walleye imitation swim bait and then we have a big swim bait these are for the bigger fish and all of those work good, especially if they're in the flats, but this big heavier one will work if they're really deep because this one's a lot heavier than the other ones. But especially this live target one, it will work great when they're cruising in the uh, shallows looking for uh, minnows to eat because most minnows are probably, like the big ones are probably about three inches and this is about two and a half. So now for number three, we have a blue and silver spoon. White bass really like things that are shiny and that look like minnows. Now this is just straight silver metal at one part, so it's definitely shiny. And when this spins, it, ouch, I got hooked by it on accident. But when it spins, it looks, it looks pretty dang near to a minnow in the water. Now, for number two, some people would think this is probably not true, but trust me, it works for me. So, there's this one week in the year, right after the mayfly hatch, when the white bass are looking for food because they're so used to just getting food so easily that they just go, like, they're just trying to find more food, and they were, they were on a really big diet, not really a diet. Uh, they were having big meals every day, so they're cruising in the shallows. So what I like to do when they're cruising in the shallows is use a buzz bait because when they're cruising in the shallows, they're pretty hard to like catch because they're moving around all sorts of different places finding schools of minnows. So what I like to do is we like to anchor the boat and just sit there in a cove where they're usually jumping, and so. If they're right by the boat and they're jumping and you have your line ready to cast, you can cast right on it and be a topwater bait. But if they're not around and they're just jumping someplace else and you're just waiting for them to come over to you, you can use this to spin make, and make noise. And you can use it like a spoon because it, if you let it sink, it will be flashy and stuff and it looks like a minnow when it's in the water so that work that this is probably one of the better baits for when the fish are being finicky so now for my number one white bass fishing lure it's a inline spinner or rooster tail this one is sartreuse and blue this is a homemade one and I have this one, and I have a little smaller one that I got from Bass Pro Shops. Uh, that's black and chartreuse. These both work really well because you reel it quick and then you let it sink and then you reel it quick. And the fish will usually bite it on the sink because they wait for it to fall, and then they try and kill it because, as if you guys know, um, shad or white bass when they're trying to get to kill shad to eat them, like the bigger shad, they actually try and kill them first and then eat the shad. 
because um, they have a little spine on their gill and they'll hit the the shad with their spine and that'll kill them and then they'll just swim back around and grab it again to eat and also that's another reason why that buzz bait that I was showing you guys also works good because if they're at a school and you just let it fall there's white bass that are actually a lot smarter than the other ones the other ones that you see busting on top of the water those ones don't get the get to eat the minnows a lot of the time because there's usually white bass that are sitting at the bottom of the school and they're just waiting for the white bass to actually kill the shad or minnows and then they eat them so it's basically cheating but yeah the white bass are pretty smart that so um thanks for watching guys um make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video and hopefully if youtube lets me get comments soon i will start responding to every single comment and thanks for watching see you next time